Turn the camera on. Completely forget what you're going to say. Oh well. Welcome to part three of the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 entry from me. Uh, according to my grand plan, episode three was going to be cutting and shaping the body. So uh, let's go on with that, shall we? So it's been suggested, and I'd already thought about it, but anyway. But it Bogdan can <laughs> claim the credit. It has been suggested that because these wings are quite as wide as they are, I might be able to get both wings out of one piece of wood. I really hope that I haven't then cut these too short, if that's going to be the case. But anyway, first things first, I need to make a template to work out how I would arrange them. I hope one day the kids don't want their monkey pencil back. I've done the straight lines with a knife. But using a knife is what professionals do, and I'm not a professional. So I remembered, if you follow your scripture, on the eighth day God gave us scissors. <laughs> Initial hope stashed. <laughs> There's too much of an overlap, I don't want to make it any smaller. I mean, I could slide down and make two tiny wings to glue on. But no, 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 I'm just going to go with what I've got. <laughs> I was almost dousing myself. So yeah, let's get cutting these out. Right. Use a chunky marker pin so I can't miss those lines, surely. So I did a couple of practice cuts to see if both me and the saw are capable. Thankfully, it seems we are. <laughs> so uh, let's get on with the real thing. Okay, so there's a couple of observations at this point. There is the really gnarly bit at the end, which I can... I, don't, I think I'd get away with it if it was part of the body, because I'm going to carve over. But let's keep it out. And under here somewhere, there is a knot. So that's going to be off the uh, off the reservation. <laughs> the hell am I talking about? Um, so to make this more manageable and get ready for the next stage of gluing, I'm just going to trim those ends off. Actually, just that one. I've been so used to using one of these saws, I forgot you have to push <laughs> on the, one of those saws. Um, and yeah, thankfully, I did avoid the knot. Right, so there might be a smell in here because I've been thinking, <laughs> thinking really, really hard. Okay, let's move the lamp out of the way. Um, I'm going to do some work on the neck before. I glue the, the wings on. I'm probably going to do some work in in these bits as well because that would be really awkward to get to. Um, but yeah, I've marked out. This is me just remembering that I should probably cut the trussword one <laughs> channel while the sides are flush. Okay. Um, yep, and then I will cut out as much as I can from there. Strapped to the side here is the profile of a Telecaster, no, a Stratocaster neck, which I'm going to use to roughly mark out how thick it might be. And then I'll add some to that because I can always reduce it a little bit, but you know, that's how it's going to go. And then I will look to gluing this together. Kind of essential to this process, it's a fretboard. <laughs> um, I didn't buy one, so I'm going to make another one from the beach I had. And uh, not Driftwood Beach, but on this guitar, I really actually liked how that looks. And I wanted a pale fretboard on this one anyway. So, annoyingly, my surfacing bit doesn't fit in here, so that's okay. Just So annoyingly, my surfacing bit, there, 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 there. my surfacing bit doesn't fit in here um, because of the amount of plastic around here. I don't know what I can do to fix that. Um, right, and I've left this ooh, about 13, 14 mils thick, which is 
a lot thicker than a fretboard, but I calculated, I'll put up a picture, the distance between the body and the top of a fretboard on a normal guitar, so to account for the uh, what would normally be neck. So, uh, and once I've sanded this down, that would lose some anyway. I'm going to get on with that. <sighs> right, I actually put it back in because I had way too much material and I've removed like four or five mil. To remove the marks left by the router, I'm just going to do some pencil lines and then sand them off. So I'm not going to be a lunatic and try and thin out the neck after gluing the body on. There's your body. So what I've done is I've taken a strap profile and arranged it appropriately. I've drawn around it. Okay, so I've done all sorts of test cuts. Didn't need that guy there. Did that sound like a TIE fighter? No. Anyway, so the big conclusion on my test cut is that it goes in a straight line. So, Chris from the future here, and look how shiny my head is. Anyway, I uh, got a bit of a panic on about how little time there is left. And with less than a month off, I decided to stop wittering and just go on with it. So to get to this point, what have I done? I have a rough cut and flattened the back of the neck. I've cut down material from the sides of the neck. And I've also cut the fretboard to shape and routed that to the template. I plan to then route the neck shape to the fretboard later on. I might get a bit unstuck around here though. I've then shaped the outline of the body using a belt sander and in the tinier bits using my really bad impression of a bobbin sander. I then glued it all together, including the wings. I measured and drilled the holes to the bridge, even though I'm going to be painting over the top of that. Uh, Pick up cavity. Well, that's pretty much it. I was going to do a joke where I try to hang it here and there's no headstock, but that's off camera and I forgot to take the guitar down. So you do have to make a joke up yourself. Bye bye.